Hi, I'm Anna Cortez, and this is How to Live It. One of the big lessons from COVID-19 is that businesses are increasingly relying on digital services to serve their customers and differentiate themselves from their competitors. So how can you make the best use of digital solutions to build a better business? This is what digital transformation is all about. So what's the buzz you hear left and right about digital transformation? And does it really mean, what does it really mean for aspiring and current entrepreneurs? So I'm joined on this conversation by Farley Milano. Hi, Farley. Hi, Anna. It's a big honor to be here with you and uh, to be joining How to Live It. Thank you. Listen, Farley and I have been working together for the past few months, and it's been an incredible experience. And BeMind has been a huge partner and helping us out on Build How to Live It. So I'm very thankful. Farley is a design PhD, sounds very sophisticated, <laughs> and has 15 years of professional experience in digital projects, having already worked both at startups and in big corporations. Nowadays, he's the senior product manager at BeMind, being responsible for leading uh, the design team. In this role, Farley helps BeMind's clients adopt user-centered design practices like UX or user experience design, design thinking and design sprint, through which they uncover opportunities and pot potentialize new businesses. So Farley is going to help us think about digital transformation. Farley, from what I understand, digital transformation is the process of using digital technologies to create new or modify existing business processes, cultures, and customer experiences to meet you know, changing business and market conditions. So can you further explain what digital transformation really means? Sure. Uh, so Anna, first of all, uh, I would like to, to say a bit about what digital transformation is not, because uh, as you can imagine, and you have introduced it in this, this context of COVID-19, it has been, uh, let's say, widely misused. Uh, so digital transformation is not about having an e-commerce or an app or a website or even an account on Uber Eats, like. A, like as a sole uh, digital activity. And, uh, the, and also digital transformation is not this revolutionary approach that's going to make you rich overnight or something like that. But actually uh, digital transformation is a, a well-orchestrated initiatives uh, that's usually based on, on three pillars. So we are talking about culture. So it's about creating a culture that change people's perceptions about technology and, and then think about the application of digital solution. On their, on their daily activities on businesses and not only sell stuff, but internally operate your businesses through, through digital technology. The second pillar is strategy. So thinking about in, uh, uh, your, your value proposition or your functional de department and how technology can enhance them. So, and by that we mean that uh, it needs, as you, as you have introduced it, to improve an existing businesses or, or enable new business model and also help us understand and, uh, and think about how do I see my, so for example, my supply management in five years and then compare this in a scenario with technology and then without technology to see the difference and how it can be uh, and, and how it can generate a positive impact. And the third and last pillar is, is discipline. So we have to, to develop a plan and then iterate uh, uh, on that with new learnings along the way because as you can imagine, and as an innovation process, you, you're going to be learning a lot. And innovation means a lot of persistence and mistakes as well. So we are talking about having errors and having a lot of learning opportunities along the way so that you can iterate on top of that. And also, it's really important to understand uh, in, in, in this, this last pillar that uh, we are not talking about developing technology from scratch or creating an, an entire new IT, IT department, for example because you can, you can think about creating solutions on, on, very, on top of very consolidated tools, or even uh, develop uh, specialized partnerships with technology providers or, some, or something like that. So digital transformation is not about transforming your, your company on a technology company, but using technology as part of its new DNA, if we can uh, talk about that. So in, in, a, in a summary, so digital transformation is about culture, strategy, and discipline. Or in other words, it's basically people, vision, and execution. Wow, I, I, I mean, I really love the way you put it. First, saying what digital transformation is not. 
and give us, giving us, you know, the points that you just gave. And I love what you said about innovation is persistence plus making mistakes. Um, so let's talk a little bit, you know, about the challenges that small businesses face. You know, digital transformation, I know, can have a huge impact in large businesses. And a lot of the examples you hear out there are large corporations who completely transformed and revamped their process. But as a startup, as someone who's starting a business, and the point you said, it's not about becoming a technology company, but it's about using digital solutions that can be proprietary or not to enhance the processes and the culture and the vision and the user experience. But a lot of the small businesses and a lot of the startups and aspiring entrepreneurs I work with are always very confused on how they can better make an investment in technology solutions now so then they better serve their needs in the future, right? It's much easier to start right than to make a change along the way. So how do you think digital transformation and this knowledge of the possibilities of technology can avoid you know, the path of startups and entrepreneurs you know, setting up business to then having to transform later? Maybe you can talk about some experience you've had with some of the you know, startups and smaller business that have embarked on digital transformation processes from an early stage. Yeah, sure. Like, uh, as you have introduced, COVID-19 uh, made digital transformation as being introduced by forceps for most of the companies. And, uh, and, this, and more, than, more than ever now, these, all this frenzy for an online presence have led us uh, to some very uh, critical misunderstandings. Uh, because as you can imagine, forcept is the, it's kind of the opposite of culture and strategy that, that we have talked earlier uh, today. So when a client comes to us or, or a partner comes to us saying, oh, I need an app, uh, we advise them to hold on a bit. Uh, and, and, this, and, and, and trust me, like, this happens to everyone. Like Some very big companies uh, up until very newborn ventures or startups. And, uh, and we also ask them to, to ask some important whys uh, so that they can assess their strategic vision uh, regarding technology. And then we try to convince them to apply a combination of value proposition design, uh, user research, and also some creative techniques as you have introduced in the beginning, like design sprint or design thinking, so that they can explore a bit about uh, their problem or, or actually their strategic need. And, and it's funny because most of our partners uh, say that it sounds like a bit of a therapy and they ended up thinking like, oh my God, I have never explored my problem this way or, or oh my God, I don't know how to measure my, my success. And this is a bit problematic because basically it means that people do, does not know what success means for them. Mm -hmm. And, I, and, with, and uh, we advise them that only after answering these questions, uh, we are able to propose the proper solutions or select the best technology scenarios. So, and this happens because, uh, at least here in BMind, we, we tend to invest on long-term relationship with clients. So, for us, it's really important that their businesses are long-lasting and successful because otherwise, this is going to mean, uh, let's say, a more, let's say, uh, isolated project and then that's it because the guy cannot sustain that project or that product for a very long time. And there is a very uh, funny insight uh, regarding that is that uh, regarding digital transformation, usually the best opportunities uh, comes for internal business operations. So we are talking, for example, how does your workers interact with each other or, or how they sync their activities or what kind of metrics is meaningful for your businesses. So imagine if you have a restaurant or something like that, we are not talking only about having an e-commerce to sell your offerings, but also, you know, in a, in a, really extreme future thinking about robot, robots uh, have in the kitchen preparing that food or even having sensors uh, that can send discounts for people passing by your door. So that's how we, we think about uh, digital transformation being really useful and really impactful for, for, our, for our clients. So that's how we think it can generate a more positive impact for them. And okay. back to the beginning, so Forcept is about survival, uh, while digital transformation is, is much more about a long-lasting and joyful life. I was just going to say, sign me up for the robot that can cook. <laughs> I want to be, <laughs> be on the waiting list. I, for that. I'm also looking for that. Actually, I have, a, I have a very good friend in Portugal who does a lot of uh, innovation project, and he have also introduced me to some of those robots. I, I'm really interested on that. You can sign me up. <laughs> so, me Jorge, I want to go back to a point that you said, and listen, I'm trying to demystify 
a lot of the common beliefs on how people think you need to start a business and grow a business because often there's a lot of misunderstanding out there and I'm trying to show the real life experience and the behind the scenes right. of how to make it happen. And one of the you know, common beliefs that people have is that you need to build a proprietary technology in order to really grow your business, right? And I've, I've worked with a lot of entrepreneurs and founders who have made you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars of investments either to create what they thought was a simple minimum viable product or an MVP or to create a version of the product to then realize that people you know, were not interested. And I think there were two big mistakes in the process. One is that they were not collecting data and interact, iterating with you know, customers along the way, as you were saying. But number two, it's one of the points you were saying before that often you know, digital transformation can also be about leveraging existing you know, platforms and technologies that are out there and incorporate that to make your business you know, better. Can you, talk, can you talk about that? Yeah, sure. Like uh, the in our uh, let's say uh, our overall uh, let's say productive process, uh, we have a starting point where we we kind of assess the strategic vision for for you know for that specific partner about technology, and uh, the first the first thing it's that is important to change is the is people's perception about uh, technology because sometimes we have a really strong barrier within the clients uh, to adopt that so. Uh, if you don't do that, it, it, it tends to be really problematic because otherwise you can create a, a, a fantastic solution that's not going to be adopted within that company. So people tend to pass by uh, this, kind of, uh, this kind of solution if they don't feel that they own that and that it's important for their work because obviously they, 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 they fear being, re being replaced by robots and by technology. So it's natural that that, that, that happens. So it's important to change culture. So that's why we recommend uh, to begin with kind of a mentoring sessions about to introduce the possibilities of technology. So it's really important to understand, for example, for a marketing department, if uh, they need some, some specific solution regarding uh, data processing or, 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 or something that brings intelligence for them, uh, or if it's a matter only of creating digital channels, for example. So it can be a really different, uh, let's say, portfolio of services that can be created. So we tend to introduce and explore a bit uh, this way so that we can pinpoint the, let's say, the best solution and also that uh, minimizes the, the investment uh, right at the beginning because as you can imagine, most of the entrepreneurs do not have a big money or have big investment uh, to do that. So it's really important to uh, let's say to, to potentialize these existing solutions because there are plenty like you can develop a really good store using let's say uh, open uh, tools and, 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 and tools like Magento or even if you want to have a, a, a like a, a channel uh, for, for content or something like that you can use WordPress which is a, 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 an open source platform that have fantastic features so nowadays it's, it's mostly a matter of, of selecting those, those alternatives and then try to, let's say, to aggregate to specific business uh, visions uh, on top of that. Thank you. I mean, this was such a great conversation. Um, I was here with Farley Milano. He has a PhD in design, and he's the senior product manager at BeMind. And um, we were talking about digital transformation. More than ever, thinking, planning, and building dig digitally can set you up to be fast, flexible, and ready to grow. And as we've seen this year, having that ability is what separates successful businesses from less successful businesses. So whether you are an aspiring entrepreneur, or you have a startup, or you have an up and running business, understanding the principles of digital transformation can really help you be ahead of the game and uh, set yourself up for success. So thank you, Farley, and uh, I hope you all get out there and live it. Bye.